What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with Samsung Galaxy A05s tips and tricks and hidden features. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to get the most out of your device. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A05s, we're getting a very large display here at 6.7 inches. Now that's great when it comes to watching video content, for example, because you're getting such a large screen to view that content. But when doing other things, such as using the phone with one hand, it can be very difficult, if not impossible, to reach all portions of the display. Now thankfully, Samsung has come up with a pretty cool solution to this, and it's called one-handed mode. So one-handed mode is actually not enabled by default, but to enable it, you're gonna pull down the notification shade, go to the gear icon for the settings, then go up to search and type in one handed and you'll see right there one handed mode. So go there and then you'll see it right here. So enable that and then go here. And then we do get several different options. So there's different ways to access one handed mode once it is enabled. So the first way is a gesture. So you can swipe down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen. So we'll try that first. And you can see by doing that, it simply resizes the operating system so they can use it with one hand. So now I can reach all portions of it. So basically we're getting like a mini phone here. So that's really convenient. You can also easily switch it over to the left side of the display. So if you're left-handed, this could make a bit more sense for you. I also like too that you can grab onto here and move things around. So if you want it a little bit higher up, you can do that as well. And in addition to that, you can grab onto the corner here and resize things as well. So if you do want the one-handed mode to be a bit larger, you have that option too. And then to get out of one-handed mode, all you have to do is just press outside of the operating system and then things go back to normal. Now, as I mentioned, there is one other option to access this and that is via a button press instead. So gesture is one option and you can see the other one here is button. So by enabling this, all you have to do is double press on the home button and then it shrinks things down into one-handed mode. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is a quick and easy way to access the camera app here on the device. And you can do this by just double pressing on the power button. So let's try that. And there we go, it pulls up the camera very quickly there. And then if you want to, you can take a selfie or you can take a regular photo. It's really up to you. Now, in addition to that, you can actually customize this side button here to pull up any app of your choosing instead of actually pulling up the camera app. So to switch this, you're gonna pull down the shade, go to the settings, and then go to search, and then you'll type in side. And you'll see right here side button, so go there. And you can see that by default, it does indeed launch the camera. But instead, you can have it open up any app of your choosing. You can also have it access other things too, such as the flashlight. It's a lot of different cool options with this. But in this situation here, I'm gonna switch over to Instagram. And then now, when I double press on the power button, it pulls up Instagram. So that's really cool and very convenient. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A05s, by default, we do get the traditional Android three button navigation. Now I know that many people do like this. This is their preferred method of using Android and it is very intuitive as well with the recent apps button, home button and back buttons. However, if you instead prefer gesture based navigation or if you wanna try that out, you've never used it before, you can actually enable that here with the phone. So to enable it, you're gonna pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in nav and you'll see right there navigation bar. So go there and then go down here to navigation bar. So over here we have options for gesture based navigation or the buttons, but also in addition to that, if you do wanna swap around your recent apps and back buttons, you can do that as well. So now the back button is on the left side and the recent apps button is on the right side. Now this might make more sense for you if you are left-handed, so keep that in mind. But to get over to gesture based navigation, simply select swipe gestures, and now you can see that those three buttons have turned into just one line here at the bottom. So with gesture-based navigation, if you swipe partially up, it takes you to your recent apps. If you swipe all the way up, it takes you home. And then if you're in an app and you swipe from the side, it'll take you back. So I wouldn't say that one method of navigation is necessarily better than another. It really comes down to personal preference. So I recommend trying out both here on the device. The next thing I wanna show you is how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A05s. So to take a screenshot with the A05s, all you have to do is just hold the volume down and power button for about a second. And you can see it now took the screenshot. 
And then from there, you can edit it or share it. And then it will save your gallery. And if you search for screenshot in the settings, there actually are some different options you can configure. So if you go under advanced features to screenshots, you'll see here that you can actually choose if you want it to save as a JPEG or a PNG. You can also pick where you actually want those screenshots to be saved to. And there's other options as well, such as showing the toolbar after capturing, deleting after sharing, hiding the status and navigation bars when you take that screenshot, and if you want the original screenshot to be saved in addition to whatever edits you make. So a lot of cool things there regarding screenshots. Now one of my favorite features with Android is split screen. So essentially you get one app up top and the other app on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to enable split screen with the Samsung Galaxy A05s. And what you're going to do is first go to your recent apps. And it does have to be an app that you have in here, by the way, for the first app at least. And then what you're going to do is pick that app. So I'm going to start with Chrome and then simply hold down the app icon and then place it up above. And then from there, you can select the second app. So I'm going to choose the calculator for the second app here. And then now I've split the screen between these two applications. Now then from here, there are some cool hidden toggles. So you can tap right here and you can swap those two applications around. You can also favorite them if you want to favorite this configuration. And if you want to hold down here and move these, you can make one larger and another smaller. And another thing that you can do as well is tap on this upper line. And then you'll get options for choosing a different app to go up here instead. Then with this arrow button, you can have the app completely take over. You can also choose to exit out of that app and have the other app take over. Or if you want to, you can tap right here and then you'll have that app be a floating application. So you can see the calculator is now floating above the web browser. And then when I'm over here on the home screen, for example, it then shrinks down that app, but I can tap there and have it float as well. I can even resize this too. So that's very useful. And then if I tap on there one more time, I have the ability to adjust the transparency. So whether it's the background app or the home screen, if I want a little bit of transparency there, I can still use the calculator, but have that transparency. And then this option here for the two arrows pointing at each other shrinks down the application. So you'll get it as that small icon off to the side again, or you can get rid of it completely. So tons of different options there involving how you use your apps. Now, as you've probably noticed, the Galaxy A05s, despite being an affordable Android smartphone, is packed full of a lot of different features. And if you want to explore more of these, you can go to the settings, then go down and you'll find advanced features right here. So I did already show you some of these, such as one handed mode and side button, but there are some others as well. This one called Dual Messenger actually gives you the ability to install a duplicate copy of any of these apps or any other apps that are on the phone that are compatible with this. So as you install apps that are compatible, they will appear here. And essentially the purpose of this is to give you multi-user support for apps that don't actually support that. So for example, you can only sign into Snapchat with one account at a time. So with Dual Messenger, it will then install a duplicate copy of that app so you can have multiple accounts signed in. But getting further into the advanced features here, under Labs, there's some cool options. So for example, there's multi-window for all apps. So even apps that don't support this will then work in multi-window. There's also full screen and split view, swipe for pop-up view, and then swipe for split screen. So I do recommend trying these out and seeing if you find any of these to be useful. But also we have motions and gestures. So heading over here, there's a couple of different options and some of these are not enabled by default. So there's double tap to turn on the screen and double tap to turn off the screen. So I'll enable both of those. And basically now with that enabled, when you're here on the home screen, if you just double tap on anywhere where there's no icons, it'll turn off the screen. And then if you double tap on the screen with it off, it'll turn the screen back on. Another cool option here as well is called turn over to mute. So basically the way this works is that if you're getting an incoming call or you have an alarm going off, you can put the phone face flat and then it will then mute that. The next thing I wanna show you are some useful visibility enhancements located under the settings. So what you're gonna do is go to search, type in visibility, and you'll see right there visibility enhancements, go there, and then go here. And then some of these might not be useful to you, maybe they will be, but you can actually choose if you want the display to be in default, high contrast, or large display. So with large display, for example, it's gonna make everything a lot larger, so easier to read. But you can also choose high contrast themes, high contrast fonts, also the keyboard and buttons as well. 
But what I want to show you is remove animations. So with remove animations enabled, it prevents some screen effects. So basically once this is on, and then now I go home, for example, there's no animation there. Also going to my recent apps, you can see no animation as well. And then heading back, there's also no animations too. So that's definitely a nice way to speed up the device. Now there's also an option here for extra dim. So if you enable that, it's gonna dim the screen beyond the minimum brightness. So that could be helpful in certain situations. Maybe you're at a movie theater, for example. The next thing I wanna show you is how to hide apps with the Samsung Galaxy A05s. So heading over to the app drawer, you'll see all the apps that are currently installed on the device. However, maybe there's an app that you want to have installed, but you don't wanna see it here. If that's the case, you'll go up to the upper right corner here to these three dots, then go to settings. And then from there, you're gonna go down to where it says hide apps on home screen and app screens. And then I'm gonna hide Facebook, for example. So I'll select that. It's now in my hidden apps. I'm gonna to go to done. And then now there's no Facebook to be found. It even took it off the home screen. And then to bring that back, go back up there to those three dots, go to the settings, go back here, and then remove it. Now I won't put it back to where it was before, but it will at least be back on the app drawer, and then you can place it back onto the home screen if you do wish. So I'll do that right now. And then now things are back to the way they were. And finally, I wanna show you how to extend your battery life with the Samsung Galaxy A05s. So what you're gonna do is pull down the shade here, go to the settings, and then type in battery, and then you'll see right there, battery, go there. And then you'll see an option called power saving, go there. And then there's a lot of different good things here, but essentially if you enable power saving mode, it's gonna cut out a lot of different background tasks and different things that kind of use more battery on your phone. So when you enable this, definitely expect to get better battery life. There's even some options here to limit CPU speed by 70%, decrease screen brightness by 10%. So I wouldn't always have power saving mode enabled, but if you do know that you have a long day ahead of you and you know that you're not gonna have access to a charger anytime soon, then I definitely would give it a try. But this concludes my video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A05s. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, but this is Kevin here and I'll see you in the next one.